in this video i'm going to show you how to show a guid of a specific table in a model driven app now as you see over here this is a simple model driven app and i've i'm showing here a column which is of type uh, guid now this guid is basically a unique identifier for this particular table now uh, let me show you uh, why this is not an easy option because when you create a model driven app and uh, you list down all the columns which is available as a part of your table uh, under edit columns by default you will not be able to find the unique identifier for this particular column so example so take for example uh let me open the table first and show it to you so i have a table which is named as commonwealth nations now within this table there is a column called as Com commonwealth nations which is the name of the table itself now this stores the guid the unique identifier for this table okay now the goal was to show this column in the view now as you see over here in the view you cannot see this column listed right you cannot technically show this column directly now in order to see that column directly within your model driven app you need to do some uh, changes okay so i'm going to explain you that uh, with the help of uh, another application okay so similarly i have this uh, table called as olympics table now within olympics table i have a column called as olympics which stores the global unique identifier right now the goal is basically to show this in the olympics view okay so i have a model driven app for from that table and this particular table I just want to show the unique identifier now if i type olympics i will not be able to find that column right so in order to do that what you need to do is create a new column so i can click on plus from here or i can go into columns and i'll click on new columns now here uh, what i'm gonna do i'll name this column so let me call this as olympics guid now from data type i'm going to select formula and here i'm going to type in uh, text and the guid column name so i can find that and that's it this is how you basically use now why i can't directly refer this column over here is if you just type in this column over here olympics it will give you an error it says the result type guid is not supported in formula columns so that's the reason you need to make that conversion and i have made that conversion and once you make that conversion you say format whatever format you want so i'll just say i want it in a format of text and i'll click on save and then what you need to do is once this record is saved you need to go into the view so let me go into the views I'll go into the active Olympics view and from here I will add the column which I have just created so my column name is Olympic UID and as you see over here this column has been added I'll click on save and publish and then once it is saved I'll go into my model driven app and try refreshing this model driven app I think it's still saving and publishing so let's wait for a minute or so i think it's done so let me do a hard refresh i'll do a control f5 and then once it's done yes i can see the guid listed over here now again uh, the whole goal exercise uh, goal of this exercise was to basically show the guid the guid is by default not available as a part of edit columns if you go into edit columns add a column you will not be able to find that guid and in order to get that we what we have done we have created a new column uh, and then reference that column by making use of powerfx data type now uh, the way which we did 
there are different ways through which you can uh, create that column. So let me go ahead and again show you this uh, Olympics GUID, the one which we created. Now let me create an, another GUID. So Olympics GUID, say one. Now, again, the same concept, you can go to formula and then what we did is like we just typed in text and then we made reference to the Olympics GUID column. Now, there are other formulas which you can use like uh, there is something called as upper. So, you can use upper uh, function and then that will also yield the same result. Also, similarly, you can use lower and that will also yield the same result. So there are multiple ways through which you can make use of PowerFX formula to display the GUID. So earlier I thought like this is a very simple uh, example, like I can directly show the GUID just by cl clicking on edit columns, but that is not the case. And we have to go about a round way uh, to get this uh, item sorted. So that's it folks. This is all about displaying GUID in a view for a model driven app thanks for watching